Hi, I'm John Grease III, editor and publisher of the Home Gym Quarterly Magazine, the only magazine in the world written by and for home gym owners. Our YouTube channel is all about helping you achieve your fitness goals at home with workout tips, simple do-it-yourself projects that you can use to upgrade your home gym, and interviews with the industry professionals who serve the home gym community. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single one of our videos. Now one of the coolest pieces of equipment a home gym owner can have in his collection is an earthquake or bamboo bar. A bamboo bar is awesome for introducing instability training into your bench press programming because it forces all of your little stabilizer muscles to get stronger, which translates into a more rock solid and stable bench press position. Today, powerlifter Thomas Stone shows you how to make your own do-it-yourself PVC earthquake bar. Check it out. I'm Thomas Stone with Garage Gym Life Media. We're building a DIY earthquake bar today. Real simple to do, very minimal work, very minimal materials. One piece of inch and a quarter PVC pipe, 10 feet long, two inch and a quarter PVC caps, cement, a hacksaw, a tape measure, and a piece of sandpaper. Uh, most bars are seven or 86 inches long. Earthquake bars are 80 inches long, so I stick with the 80 inches. So we'll go ahead and we just measure your, your piece of PVC, 80 inches. Set the mark. Sandpaper comes in, clean up the burrs off the end. I use primer, you do not have to use primer. With a little bit of primer cleaner, makes a little bit of a mess, but I don't mind on my earthquake bar, not a big deal. The primer inside the cap. Grab your cement, cement the end, cement the cap, put them together, just give it a little twist for a second. It'll start to get stiff, once it starts to get tight, leave it, switch to the other side. We didn't cut this side, but I still sand it anyways to clean it up a little bit. Thin layer of primer. Inside the cap as well. You can give it more time to dry the primer if you want, but it doesn't really make a difference. Same thing, start to twist a little bit, it'll get a little bit stiffer and stiffer, and that's it. Once it's on, you're good. And that is it, your homemade DIY earthquake bar. Uh, you can contact Garage Gym Life Media if you have any questions, or Stony 2 on uh, Instagram. Here's everything you need. Alright, thank you for watching.